I'm Scott Meyer, Director of Student Ministries, and I would like to welcome you to The Rockford Files, an opportunity for us to get to know our new senior pastor, Rockford Johnson, and his wife, Elizabeth. During these really weird times, this is an opportunity for us to get to know Rockford a little bit better, and I hope you'll come along for this exciting journey. Tell us a little bit about your, uh, your family. You have two children. Tell us about, about when they came along and where they are now and maybe some story that would embarrass them. No, maybe not that part. <laughs> well, they started coming along during seminary days. Um, Micah was born in 1982. They're both born in May. Uh, he was born in 82 and Kay was born in 85. They're both very creative. Kay has a master's in fine art. Um, she is a sculptor. She has magic fingers when it comes to clay. Even, even as a little girl, she would just mess with that silly putty and things would just appear. Um, and she also is, what is she, a computer coder? Is that the word? Is that how you say it? Yeah, she, she does coding. She does coding with computers. Um, Micah is also very, very creative. Um, he has a little bit of a photographic memory for images. Um, not so much for what he has read, but for images. And he can draw minute details of things that he saw 15 years ago. Just out of his head. Just blows my mind. Um, he's a chef, he's very, very creative in the kitchen, and um, he has all kinds of ideas of, of how that is a ministry, to serve people, to nurture them. So I remember that um, in college, during Kate's college years, she was selected, she got an award, so she was selected to go to Long Island for a year. So we drove, and like the, Few days after Christmas, all the way through Pennsylvania, in that little, that little, in that little old Nissan Sentra of hers. <laughs> so Kate and I had a great time. We went to a, um, one night. She said, "Well, what do you want to do?" I said, "Let's find a poetry reading." So we looked through the guides and found a poetry reading at a place in Brooklyn called Biscuit Barbecue. So it's like poetry. Biscuit Barbecue, run by a German man in Brooklyn. We had the greatest time. We went through, we went first to the Brooklyn Museum and then found our way to that place off the beaten path and had this great meal together. And it turned out there was a jazz trio following the poetry reading. And this guy had been a big in the jazz scene in New York City, had um, made a comeback. He was a trumpet player, and a few weeks later when I was home, um, we found this full page uh, New York Times piece on this man. And so um, it's just like all that came together, and we had this great, you know, father-daughter time. Um, just a great memory to share. They have their dad's strong will. <laughs> They were a challenge. 